know, we've just been really focusing on, on the run game and um, knew, again, that we were going to have to run the ball to, to win. And, um, you know, we had the backs to do it. Um, we blocked well enough to get them through the, uh, through, the, uh, through the line of scrimmage and onto the second level. And from there was all those guys. So um, just a great job by, by everyone. What makes each of them special? What, or maybe tonight, what did they do special? I mean, I mean, not just these two. All of these guys, uh, all of our backs, just just run with run with a lot of heart. Um, run run hard, really, really hard. And when you see that up front, when you see your backs like these two um, running hard in a game, um, that just motivates you to block even harder. You know that you get them through the first level, and um, they're gonna do their thing on the second level. We'll go all the way to the left towards the back, Jeff. To both backs, could you describe what those holes look like tonight, and what what the linemen were showing you? Uh, yeah, those guys got tremendous push up front. Um, and as Mason said, he got us um, onto the second level, and we knew from there we had to do our thing and you know do what we do best, and that's make people miss. All right, front row, all the way to the left, John. Chris, you're obviously a competitive guy. When you see Karan taking off on the long runs, do you take it on yourself? Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna match that. I'm gonna do I'm gonna produce uh, like that. Necessarily. Uh, well, our, our room, our <coughs> room is so together that I don't look at it as, oh, he made a big play, I got to make a big play too. I just, you know what I'm saying, I just trust the process and everything to go together. It's, it's when it's when he scored, I'm as happy as, as when I scored. So it just, it's, it's a team effort and we just hold, hold each other to a high standard. Second row, all the way to the left, Rachel. Um, the run game is really thrived, what, three of the last four weeks, maybe Indiana last week and this week. Why is that build-up so important as you approach really an important part of the season in the last three weeks? You know, like, I've, like I said a few weeks ago, that um, each week as a team we're just getting better and better. Um, I told you guys that a few weeks ago, and, and we have. You know, we ran for, a lot of, uh, ran for a lot of yards last week and even more this week. So, um, you know, that's our goal, to get better each week um, and just keep improving, and hopefully we can peak at the right time. All right, if anyone on the right half has a question, raise your hand. Sarah has a mic as well. Back to the front row, all the way left, Steve. Chris, talk about your two long touchdown runs. Was, were they the same play? And, and, and talk about how each of them broke open for you and, and what the sensation was reaching the end zone after those long runs. Uh, I, I forgot what play they were, but uh, I just knew <clears throat> that the running back's job is to make people miss. So I felt like if I made one person miss, then... I know the hole was gonna be there from from the get go, so I just knew if I made somebody miss it, I could I could score. So that's the that's the mindset I had every time I got the ball. And, and describe the elation of after a long run, getting to the end zone, and your teammates all coming to you. Oh, that that's the best feeling in the world. Just seeing everybody happy for you and, and just you know what I'm saying proud of you and just cause it's it, we've been waiting a long time for the season to come and we've been running gashes and all that stuff. Just but just to see like all the hard work pay off is just. It makes us feel so much better. Stay in the front row, all the way to the right. Chris? Mason, I know he's on the other side, but can you talk about what you saw from Caesar and, and how he reacted to his first start? Yeah, just uh, really impressed with how he handled everything. Um, really came out and, from what I know, played played a pretty good game. And um, see him get his first start as a freshman, um, you know, it's exciting for him. It's exciting for a young guy to go out there and, and start making the plays as a young guy. Uh, sorry, third row towards the middle, Kevin. Yeah. Uh, well, he beat me kind of to the, the Caesar question, so maybe for the running backs, uh, how did you see when he did a, a, um, Karan, it seemed like you, you almost ran over him on, on the, uh, in your first really long run uh, of the game, but what, how do you think he reacted to getting his first real big uh, playing time? And as Mason said, I think he paid, played tremendous. Um, that's a big platform to step out, and uh, especially in the offensive line and start as a freshman, so I'm very proud of him and how he handled it, and uh, I think he did a great job today. Front row, left, Steve. Karan, the last Michigan runner to go for 200 yards in consecutive games was a guy who you met last week, Mike Hart. Talk about talk about the significance of that, 200 back-to-back games, and what your what your time with Mike Hart was like. It, it, it's big time. Uh, it's big time to, to meet that goal and meet that accomplishment. Um, when I found out during the game I had 200 again, I, I almost wanted to cry um, because I was so excited and you know so happy to share that moment with my boys like Chris and Kareem, um, the O line, you know Mason and all those guys. You know, like Chris said, you know to see all that hard work pay off, it's a team effort. And uh, when we're meeting goals like that, it's not just me doing it; it's all of us doing it. I didn't get there by myself, um, so I'm, I'm I'm thriving to see that.
enjoy that. It also helps that he's from Florida. <laughs> Florida <laughs>